Hey guys, welcome to Tita's Red Desk, a channel about watercolor, journaling, Bible journaling, arts and crafts, and the things that I enjoy doing in life. Thank you so much for being in this video, watching, giving me your time. Be good to yourself, be good to others, always smile. A smile has the power of changing someone's day and changing your day. Um, if you like what I do, please subscribe. You will be notified every time I upload a video, which I do quite frequently. So if you want to see new things um, being unboxed, being tested about any of these subjects that I mentioned at the beginning, such as watercolor, um, please subscribe. You will get notified and you will have some fun with me here looking at these videos. And today I always want to like always i want to start by saying thank you god because you're great uh let's talk about this amazing product that i'm going to call amazing just by the review of others because i have not tested yet uh, but this is the whole buying palm box 12 colors um this brand i understand is japanese and it's an artist quality watercolor um, and you will probably say, but she's a beginner. Why is she getting artist quality? Well, because practicing with different paints, I have already learned that the quality of the materials that you use do make a difference on your lessons. So I am getting, I am trying every possible paint that I can get my hands on. Um, and as, as well as good paper, it's a completely different result on my lessons when I use uh, something of a good quality compared to something of a very low quality. And I think it's a mistake to just buy the cheapest thing because you're just a student or you're just learning. It will discourage you from continuing the journey um, because the results are poor, honestly. And I saw it myself, so this is why I decided if I'm going to make this into my hobby, then I'm going to enjoy it the right way with the right tools. I'm not saying that all my other paints are bad, but I am comparing brands and I'm comparing palettes. And on the ones that are not that expensive, I've been getting full size palettes, so I don't have to mix the colors as I'm not that good doing that yet. Uh, the ones that are a little bit more pricey, such as these, I am getting the small, the small palettes, uh, just to test the, the paint itself. So this one, I love small palettes. It's, it's it's crazy because I want a lot of colors, but I want compact palettes. So if you can give me a small palette with a lot of colors, I'm probably going to buy it, the bullet and buy it if it's good quality. So this one. It's, I don't think it's that easy to find. I, I found this one on Amazon and I saw there was another one left. I'm pretty sure that they will uh, restock because it's an Amazon seller. Although you get it with free sh free shipping, they get the, um, their Amazon, why can I open this? They're Amazon sellers, uh, independent sellers, but they do offer the prime shipping. So when you open the box, uh, you get this in the front and then there's a picture of the palette in the back and it's in Japanese except for Holbein Words LTD Japan um, there's no English literature anywhere it brings a pamphlet Holbein Artist Watercolor The pamphlet uh, shows you, I guess, their range of products and different palettes. Their palettes are definitely different from what you see uh, regularly out there. Um, I've noticed that people that make that make very unique palettes are uh, Holbein, also. Windsor and Newton has one that I have shown before that I really like the design which is this one I'll show it to you again because of the water container and the two water small water containers that you 
strap here for your place here and all the this the features of this palette make it into one of my favorite palettes that I have and that's that's very unique uh, the other one is the Schminka uh, travel whiskey palette that I also love because of the portability and the uniqueness I like unique things I don't like things that you see everywhere um, that's that's just me so I like the, the presentation. I am a sucker for a good presentation. Um, and these people, as you can see, they have different, it's a completely different design uh, from other regular palettes that you may have. I see here that they have that one, the whiskey type, looks like this one. Um, this one is the only, these two that look more or less like the other ones. They also have one called I think it's carrot carrot karataki something like that that is a compact box really nice and this is the one that i'm going to show you which is called the palm um i think it's called palm 12 and the idea of calling it palm is because it fits in the palm of your hand here are the colors that they have on their lines and just more pictures of their of their colors what else comes in is a card for you to swatch the colors and have it with you. This is very important, at least for me. And then it comes with a kind of a waxy paper. And this is the palette. It's like a burgundy red, like this, it has golden, letters there logo and this is yeah it's like a so you remove the lid which is for you can mix colors there and then it comes with this two trays for mixing your colors as well so how you do this is okay so let's put all the pieces together here it also comes with a brush portable brush or field brush however you want to call it that is actually looks very nice I'm not sure if this is at six or an eight uh, it looks like an eight to me let me see so this is my Escoda six let's see the eight this is the Karen Dash 8. So yeah, definitely a size 8 brush. Which is good because it's a size that is, uh, is, is used for many things. You can get a lot of use for these if, when you learn how to use it, right? Not me. All right. So that's that. Then here, this part this attachment goes right let's see if i'm doing this right like this right in the back you attach it like that a little bit of pressure and then this part attaches to the side here See if I took the right side yeah it doesn't matter so you can attach it to the right or you can attach it to the left whatever is more convenient for you if you're lefty or a righty and you can also let's see I think you can attach it here as well let me try that it has like a little thing here that will not let it go let's see no, so that one only goes on the side this one I can put it in the front as well so you decide what works for you the front the back and then which side so in my case it's probably going to be 
let's see probably going to be the front here and it's going to be on the right side for me for my own thing my own use this is more and then when you flip them i believe they have a magnet in there but i haven't opened it yet i will check that out they're not coming off though so here you have a let's see how i get this out this part is supposed to flip okay here you go so basically let's see how this works You can do that, I guess. It's like a small leg that you can flip up. So you can have your palette in a more inclined kind of position. Um, the other thing is this part has this curve here that you can use to rest your brush when you're painting. So if you look at the uh, the way they, they have it in the box, they have this in this position in the front, they have this on the other side, and then they had just placed this like this, and they have the brush already open, just to replicate the picture, um, open like this. So this is what they got. And then here you see the picture of the what I was trying to show you now with the little leg. So I don't, I'm not sure how that will work if you have it in that position, but I'm pretty sure I will figure it out. Um, this is plastic. For some reason I thought it was going to be uh, made out of porcelain, but it's, it's plastic. It's not a flimsy plastic. It seems to be uh, sturdy, good quality, heavy duty plastic. This has like a mirror uh, effect here. So you can see my phone there. And when you're done with your paints, you can just remove this trace. You can place your brush back in put your trays back in there I always wait for my paints to be dry unless of course if you're outside you will have to just close it like that so let's see I think I'm not closing it correctly let's try this let's see how it goes just don't remember how they came put together but I'll give it a try again and we shall see I was not sure that it does there you go so you have to make them flat so they don't come up though it's a little bit of pressure a little bit of pressure there it might open if you move it a lot but it's it's, it's pretty secure um, yeah there are two little things there to hold to hold on to to these parts here so it should it should click so probably I'm not doing something correctly I will keep on trying and I will be swatching these these colors and I will show you those there you go I will show you those in a in a different video I just don't like making my videos extremely long um, I really like this. This is this is really good. Um, compared to my other travel palettes, this one from Senelier fits in any any pocket, right? And so does the Schminka. The other ones that I have that are small are these. One of my favorite um, is these. Then the Kuretake one is also, it's very thin, doesn't take up much space, and it has the brush and the pen in there. And then it will be the, uh, 
white knights will be the the other one so i guess that will go in this range bigger smaller uh, this will be like in between because it's longer than that and then yeah and then it will be this one and then this two <laughs> in order of size right so those are my my portable i am trying to get comfortable with smaller palettes and just by forcing myself to learn how to mix colors um this this will definitely do i'll be testing all the paint and i will make another video for you with the swatches here i'm not prepared right now i don't have my water or anything else but i'll make a short video just with the swatches for you so just get in i mean follow that wait for that video i'll post it it's probably going to post the day after uh, you see this one video so it's going to be there all right thank you so much guys for your time if you like it please subscribe like comment suggest ask questions and um yeah it's it's, it's all good i appreciate suggestions i'm learning this and anything you can suggest to me is is welcome and appreciated thank you so much for your time i will leave the link to this palette i believe there's one or a few from this seller left uh when the day i purchased but i'm pretty sure that they'll bring more this is a brand that is still making their products thank you so much for your time and god bless you Bye bye